Hi, we're here at the Gilmore Elementary School. I'm Mary Beth O'Brien, the principal. Um, this is our new space. We moved here this September from the Huntington School and we are in a beautiful new location. As you can see, we have some great fields. We have this big, huge parking lot. We have a beautiful indoor space. Um, but one of the things that we really take pride in is helping our students understand that we're a community that cares, that we have a fun, safe space for us to go into um, and that really learning can be fun. As an expanded learning time school and an eight hour school day, one of the things uh, that we really teach our students is the balance between hard work and effort but also safe play. Um, and one of our initiatives here is Playworks enrichment and the YMCA. So when our students engage in those activities, it's all about teamwork, having a good time, um, and really persevering through challenging tasks. Coming in here, you can see that there are all of these wonderful um, United Way supporters. Um, and when Aaron Spaulding from the YMCA, when we were meeting about our partnership this year, one of the great things that we talked about was this great United Way Day of Caring. And if we wanted to submit some projects, um, for this day that would allow us to really beautify our space and help our students to see that it's not just them alone, it's a whole community that cares about them. The United Way supports um, nine amazing initiatives at the YMCA and the Y is a proud recipient of United Way funding. Um, one of our sort of more unique uh, collaborations is um, really joining partnership, um, joining hands with the Brockton Public Schools to look at different ways where we can extend the learning day um, in the summer and after school in creative and unique ways to eliminate the academic achievement gap um, and we have a really neat partnership with the um, Huntington now Gilmore Elementary in the Raymond um, to provide enrichment um, as part of their extended learning time grants um, and so these kids get um, as students at both schools get 60 minutes of enrichment from the YMCA um, and so as the United Way Dave caring approach it kind of came um, came up that it would be a really neat thing to welcome um, sort of the former Huntington students to a new school and make them feel a little more comfortable here by um, having people volunteer their time to sort of spruce up the school and make them feel a little more welcomed. Um, it's, it might be intimidating to be in a new school environment. Um, and so we have amazing people from Enterprise Rent-A-Car and UPS that um, are volunteering their time today. What group are you with? We're with Enterprise. I'm with UPS. Are you detail oriented? Because you got to be detailed here. We try to, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's one of the things we do at UPS. So we're glad to uh, bring it over to the, uh, you know, to the school, help them out. We have 16 people here um, from Enterprise Holdings, and we offer all of our employees um, one day every six months to volunteer for a community care day. Um, and Becky, our HR manager here, tries to organize it so that we can all do it together. Because I think when you work for a United Way organization together, you can really see where your money goes. We put a couple of projects together here because we said, you know, we would really like a welcoming environment so that the minute the kids come onto their uh, playground, they can see that learning can be fun, it's bright, and it's welcoming. What's your favorite color? Pink. 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 And you? <laughs> I love red. And you, man, with your blue. Is blue your favorite by any chance? Yes, it is. <laughs> And you wouldn't happen to like green, would you? Green is one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, what's your favorite? Pink. Oh, was there a struggle? <laughs> Our favorite game at Playworks, led by our phys ed teacher, Mr. McCarthy, is that of Foursquare, and our kids have a great time with that. We have some hopscotch, um, which I think is the brightest hopscotch I've ever seen, and it's really fun. These 50 states are going to be beautiful by the time we're done. We just um, cleaned up Texas. We just cleaned oh. up Texas. This is being taped. <laughs> and this is a map so the kids can jump on it and learn from it and talk about the states while they're having fun and exercising. What might be the most difficult state? Um, I don't know. What do we think, guys? To California? Paint? Yes. It takes it takes a lot of effort to paint California and Texas because of their size, mm -hmm. but we it's worth it because they're beautiful. We haven't got to the small states yet, so we don't know the how. Small states. Carving it out. Rhode Island. Tough. Rhode Island might be tough. It's very tiny. All right. Who's got Massachusetts? Who's, what number? Uh, three. Three. 
Hank 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 Hank